Malcolm Young dead at 64. That's too bad. The um, most people have heard the band ACDC, but when you think of ACDC, most people think of his brother Angus as being the he was a, the the um, Angus was your uh, lead guitarist. All the solos and stuff are his. Um, but if you took Malcolm, Malcolm was the the rhythm side of the equation. He's pumping away on those power chords. And they only play in a couple of keys. And uh, But it's just a signature sound. But when you hear a song that was ACDC, the part that hooks you is Malcolm Young. He was the band. Um, I'm, I, I've got their song books from years ago. And if you took Malcolm out of the picture, you don't have ACDC. You don't even have the sound. Um, just for the driving power chords. The uh, I don't think he, most people like I said most people think of ACDC they think think of his brother Angus, but Malcolm was the band. Um, I heard on the radio, album wise, not band, but the greatest of the most successful album of all time. I believe as as far as album, number of albums sold, was Michael Jackson's Thriller. Number two was ACDC Back in Black. Just as far as albums sold. I think the, the most successful band ever, and I don't know if that's record sales combined with tickets sold, but sure, it was, it was Led Zeppelin. But that's pretty pretty cool that ACDC is the second most successful album. That's too bad. I remember when I first heard of ACDC, I was in the fifth grade. Matter of fact, the kid that brought the album to school got in trouble for it. Not, uh, not intended for children. That's too bad. But they had a successful career. Lived long, lived hard. Whew. I think it's more amazing that they lasted this long. But I heard another guy on the radio just last week was talking about ACDC. How they were so consistent, and how you could hear stuff they wrote way back when and play it today, and it's still relevant. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that they never changed much. And a lot of bands can't say that. Um, they played the same type of music. It was it was heavily based on power chords, blues based. Um, but he didn't. He, Malcolm didn't have a whole bunch of different guitars. I think he played the same guitar. Might have changed the neck a couple of times. Had the same guitar his whole career. I could be wrong on that. Same Marshall amps, all that stuff. Their sound never changed. The tone never changed. Thank God, because it was a successful. But the, um, I saw them play at the LA Forum back in 2000 or something like that. They actually played here. They played in Fresno years ago, like in the late 70s, early 80s. I think it was early 80s. And got booed off the stage. He threw bottles at them. And they cussed the crowd, said, we will never come back. And they actually came back a couple years ago and played the Save Mart Center. We have a big baseball, I mean, uh, basketball auditorium or whatever. They had big concerts there. They, they played there. So they actually finally did come back. We also had the police with Sting. Back there broke up now, but even when they were really big, they came to Fresno because they were treated so well when they were just a little dinky band. They said, well, I'll always come back here. And they did. They, many times they came here. Anyhow, I'm just rambling. Malcolm Young dies at 64. That's too bad. May he rest in peace. Love you. God bless.